Now that we have our document set up, I'm going to spend a little bit of time touring you around the interface of Publisher. Because we've already used Affinity Design and Affinity Photo, we know that our main toolbar is over here on the left-hand side. And you're also aware that if you click on a specific tool, you will get your context toolbar along the top. And that will change depending on the tool you have selected. So along our left-hand side here, we've already been introduced to our Pages Studio. We also have a Master Pages Studio here, which I'll discuss further in a, a next video. On the right-hand side, we have a more expansive studio that has a number of different options available to us. Now, we have the ability to hide and show what appears in our studio. So if we choose View Studio, all of these different options are tabs that we can either hide or show. So in this example right here, dealing with desktop publishing, we're starting as fairly beginner desktop publishers. So we're going to limit our studio so it's not too cluttered. So I've chosen character, color, effects, layers, pages, stroke, text frame, text style, and transform as the studio tabs I want to appear. Now you have the ability, as I said, to turn any of these on or off. So for example, if I don't want to use character, I can turn it off and you'll see it disappear from my studio. I will go back and turn that back on. And I can set what I want in my tab so it's not cluttered. Now I also have the ability to move these around I can reposition them within each individual studio, and I can also take them and group them together. So if I wanted to take my text frame, for example, and I want to group it in with my uh, layers, effects, colors, and stroke, I simply drag it and move it, and it's now up in this grouping. So I think it makes sense if you want to take the time to move those around, maybe put all of your text tabs together, and I've put my layers, my effects, my color, and my stroke together, I've got my transform by itself. So again, this is called your right studio. And you can hide and show that at any time. If you go to your studio tab and scroll to the bottom, it's off the screen here, but there's a left show studio and a right show studio. So I can turn it off completely to give myself more space if I'm not using it. And then I can go back down to show studio and go back down and turn on right show studio. And they all come back. So your left studio has your master pages and your page setup as we discussed previously. So in a following video, I will discuss the concept of master pages and show you how they work. So if I were you now, I would take the time to organize your studio in the way that you see fit. If you don't know what one of these tabs does, you're better off hiding it for now. And then if we discover what it does at a later point in time and you find it useful, you can turn it back on. But for now, go with character color effects layers, pages, stroke, text frame, text style, and transform. Okay.